people love giving pregnant women advice, don't they? Like the whole time I was pregnant, I had this one friend, she kept telling me, you got to do prenatal yoga. It really helps with the birth. So I immediately signed up for a C-section. <laughs> I still haven't made a baby book for my son. My mom's really trying to get me to make a baby book. I just can't do it. She, she kept like serious baby books on all of us. She like, but if you think about it, a baby book, it's really just like a lot of teeth and hair and fingerprints. It's really a serial killer's log. Um, but I'm, I'm not on any dating websites. I don't, I, I'm on, I have one like, app on my phone that's kind of, it's, it's called food spotting. <laughs> and it, it's like Tinder, but for food. So it lets you know. Is this real? This is totally real. It lets, they, they let you know about food in your area. So like this week in LA, I was like eyeing this one particular scone. And uh, under a mile away, coincidence? Probably not. Uh, so I'm like, should I go? And my friends are like, go, like check it out. So I went to the scone and I kind of just like sidled up to it and I was like, oh my God, you look just like your picture. <laughs> Anybody see Top Gun? It was cute, right? I liked it. I was so impressed. Do you know that Tom Cruise does all his own Scientology? <laughs> As I'm getting older, what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure I'm the best looking one of my friends. It's really easy. I cut certain people out of my life. And I now hand select strangers off of Facebook and surround myself with real trolls and reptiles. You should see these monsters. I had a friend, Nikki, she kept losing weight. I took her out of my phone, F her, I'm sorry. It's hard to have sex with your spouse, I'll say it. Because that's your family. It's like, we just had Thanksgiving together. I'm not gonna suck your dick. You're my emergency contact for Christ's sake. Can't talk dirty to each other anymore. Know each other too well. You know, I'm like, I'm gonna. He's like, no, you're not. I want you to come all over. No, you don't. No. No, I don't. You know, I'm always like, okay. I am in a coma. I do okay in New York, you know, for a comedian. I'm bringing the thunder up here, okay? <laughs> Comic? Come on, yeah. I usually do okay. In New York, I'm like a six, like seven with all the padding. But in Miami, I was like a negative three. People were like, what the f is that? <laughs> Throwing up on their motorized wheelchairs. <laughs> Children were crying. I was like, Beyonce calls it jelly. They were like, that's cottage cheese. Except that Ilaria, France España, is actually Hillary from Boston. <laughs> it's work having a vagina, that's work. Guys don't think that it's work, but it is. You think it just shows up like that to the event? It doesn't. <laughs> Every night it's like getting it ready for its first quinceanera, believe me. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It didn't used to be work. I know that from watching vintage porn. It was no work. <laughs> Zero. I even, I remember my mom bottomless when I was a kid. And it was just <laughs> It looked like the black smoke monster from Lost was just following her. It's like, is mom being swarmed by bees? What is? And then something happened, I don't know. Like 10, 15 years ago, all the dudes got together and had like a meeting like a fantasy football draft about our privates. They were like, we can't get in there. It's like Vietnam trying to... If you're still in a position where you're getting dick pics, ladies, I have a suggestion for you. When you get a dick pic, send back a dick pic. go, oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were exchanging our favorite dick pics. <laughs> dick for dick, pic for pic, no? I thought, 